Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to add another reseller account to your WHMCS. So first, let's talk about why you would do this. Now, a lot of resellers approach us and say, hey, what do we do if we start to run out of space and bandwidth? Because obviously our three popular reseller packages here, the main thing that differentiates these from each other is the amount of space you can resell and the amount of bandwidth that you can resell. All of them allow you to host unlimited customers so you can create unlimited cPanel accounts, but where your limits come in is with your disk space and your bandwidth. So the customers ask, you know, do you offer increases in space and increases in bandwidth? And the answer to that is no. If you're on the startup, then you can upgrade to the entrepreneur. If you're on the entrepreneur, you can upgrade to the corporate. But what happens after that? What if you need more than 100 gigabytes of space? And that's a great question. So one option is to upgrade to a VPS. You can upgrade to our Hero 8 gigabytes and you can get more disk space that way. So you can see our Hero 8 gigabytes offers 120 gigabytes of storage. And then we also have further upgrades for VPSs that you can contact our sales team and they will get you a custom quote. So that's option one, but a, a lot of resellers don't wanna do that. They still wanna offer res reseller packages. They don't wanna have to have a VPS. So the other option is to add another reseller package to your account. And this is what most resellers do. Our top resellers here at Name Hero, they have 10 to 18 to 20 to 30 reseller packages with us. And they use WHMCS to rotate between all these packages so all their customers aren't on the same package. So it allows them to diversify. A lot of our resellers will also ask, you know, hey, I'm going to sign up for another reseller package. Can you make sure that's on a different node or a different server? Uh, and this also adds redundancy because it, it diversifies your customers so they're not on, on the same server. So I highly recommend it. And like I said, our top resellers have many different reseller packages. And so if you're just getting started, you can go with our corporate package. It comes with the free WHMCS license and all the features you need. But once your business starts growing, before you get to this 100 gigabytes of usage, you know, maybe when you're about 60, 70 gigabytes of usage, then you want to look about look at adding another reseller account. So that way you never come close to hitting that um, 100 gigabyte limit. And that way you don't have to rearrange accounts and move stuff around. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So right now I've got a corporate package, right here, this main package here, um, set up and I'm using resellerhostingus.com. So this is, um, this is my account and I have WHMCS installed and set up. Now again, this is a demo account, so I don't have any data in here, but we're gonna pretend that I do. We're gonna pretend that I'm, I'm coming close to my usage and my disk usage is somewhere over here and I wanna add another package, but I wanna add it into WHMCS so as my customers are signing up that they don't go on to the existing package, they go on to the new package. So let's first sign up for the new reseller package and then I'm going to show you how to add it to WHMCS. So first thing we want to do is select which one. Now, it's likely that you don't want the corporate again because you don't need another WHMCS license and you probably want to save a little bit since you don't have that added feature. So you can choose either the startup or the entrepreneur. The startup's 50 gigabytes of storage and the entrepreneur is 75 gigabytes storage. Now, depending on your needs, you know, you can kind of, you can kind of, um, you know, evaluate which one works best for your business. But me personally, I would have, rather have multiple startups or multiple entrepreneurs that you can always upgrade to. So you can start off with the startup and then once you start encroaching on this, you can always upgrade. This helps you keep your costs low. So I'm going to add a startup package. I'm going to click here and it asks me, do I want to register a new domain, transfer your domain from another registrar, or I'm going to use my existing domain and update my name servers. So this is going to be, the new package has to have unique name servers for your customers. So if I was to use reseller hosting us, I already have a package with this. So I could use a subdomain of reseller hosting us, and then I could create name servers like NS3 or NS4.resellerhostingus.com. Um, so in my example, that's what I'm going to do. That way that all my customers are still using the same domain, but they're going to be using different name servers. So what I want to do is my domain is just going to be ns3.resellerhostingus.com. Click use. Okay. Now I've got the options on what billing cycle I would like. Um, I can choose a one month price, six months, 12 months, or 24. Now remember at Name Hero, we reward customers um, the longer they sign up. 
So if your business is growing and you want to make the most ROI, it only makes sense to pick pick the best price. And also with resellers, many of them only like to pay once every two years. That way they're not having to worry about monthly fees every month. You know, they just have to worry about continuing getting signups. So most of our, our heavy hitter resellers, they get the best rate because they're focused on ROI and growing. So that's what I'm going to do in this example. If you want to add a drop my site package, you can. I'm not in this demo here. Um, that's primarily for your main reseller site. So I recommend getting that your first reseller package, maybe if you sign up for the corporate dedicated IP address. Now this is important. Um, if you want your customers on this reseller package to have their own shared IP address, that way they're not using the main server IP for email delivery. So I recommend choosing that option. Now you have also have the option to add a, a WHMCS license, but if you're adding a package, it's likely you already have this. So you don't need to add it because this is $9.95 a month with the startup package. So we're going to click continue. And now we see our total. So again, this is for two years. Um, so you're getting, um, you know, a nice discounted rate for signing up for the long time. We're going to add the dedicated IP. So I'm going to complete my payment and then I'll resume the video and show you how to add this up to your WHMCS. Okay, I've completed my order, and as always at Name Hero, we we strive for ten for ten customer service and satisfaction. So we want to hear from you. Um, that's why we have this survey that pops up pops up after every order. If you enjoyed your experience, we certainly appreciate all fives. And um, if you do select all fives, you know, feel free to leave a kind note, and this will be displayed across our site so it helps other uh, potential customers, you know, see if it's for them or not. So we always appreciate that. I, I say many times on our YouTube channel and on our blog that I love reading. This more than I love seeing revenues or sales because it's very important to me to offer a 10 for 10 customer service and satisfaction. So I really do appreciate this. And we also ask that you submit your name and your email auto pops just so we can follow up with you. Um, and it's not used for marketing or anything like that. It's just so we can follow up about your survey. If you don't want to fill this out, it is by no means a requirement. You know, I love to see the, the uh, feedback from these, but if you don't want to do it, we're not going to force you. You can just click this little X and it goes away. Okay, so my order is complete, so I'm going to continue to the client area. I'm going to click on Cloud Web Hosting, and I'm going to look for my other reseller package. Since this is a demo account, I've got a couple different packages. So the startup here is what I just bought. Remember, we used ns3.resellerhostingus.com. So I'm going to click on this. Now, there's a couple things here that we have to change that we want to ignore. So our name servers. Now, remember, this is a whole different reseller package, so it's going to have different name servers. Now, we're not going to call it this because this is confusing. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. So I'm going to go to domains in my domains, and I'm going to find the domain reseller hosting US right here. Okay, so now I need to go to private name servers. And I need to set up the name servers for this package. So I want to use ns3.resellerhostingus.com. So I'm just going to copy that. Go back here. Or I don't need to copy that. ns3. And I need to grab the IP because we are going to use that. And then paste it in here. Whoops. Paste it in here. Save changes. Okay. Now I'm going to grab the second IP. Copy. And we're going to do NS4. We're going to paste it. Save. Okay, that's registered. Now we have to add DNS entries on the original package. So stick with me. It sounds complicated, but it's not. We're going to go back to my services. We're going to find our corporate hero or our main reseller. We are going to log into Web Host Manager. We're going to search for DNS, edit a DNS zone. We're going to select our main reseller domain, click edit. Now we're going to scroll on down here and we need to add NS3, NS4, A record, A record, and we're going to copy over these IPs. Copy these IPs and close out of this and grab these again. So we're going to grab the third, whoops, put it in here, grab the fourth. And put it in here. And now we're going to save. Okay, now we can close out of here. So that's going to allow us to use those new name server IPs. It's going to allow us to use ns3.resellerhostingus and ns4 because we're going to need that in our setup here in WHMCS. So now we want to log in to our WHMCS backend. This is your admin area. When we get there, we have to add the package, okay? So we're going to go to setup, 
products and services, servers. Now in here, you're gonna see your main reseller server, which is Silas in my case, because this is the, the other server I had, and I'm gonna click add a new server. Okay, from in here, I need to enter some information. So name, first we need to enter the name of the server. So we'll go over here and grab that. And this server's name is Tim. So we're just gonna enter Tim. And once the host name, so we're gonna go back here and copy all of this and paste it. Now you can call the name the same as the host name if you'd like, it's all personal preference, it's up to you. Um, IP address, we wanna go ahead and grab this IP address and put that in here. Assigned IPs, we can leave that blank. Now, monthly cost, um, we wanna enter the monthly cost of this and if we go to billing, my invoices, we can see, or it's not on here, let's go to, Sorry, since I used a coupon since I'm doing a demo, didn't have it, so let's just go over here. Because it's important to put the monthly cost because this configures your um, profit and loss. So it's $15.95 a month, and I should have noted that. So it's $15.95. Data center in OC, so this is not, customers don't see the monthly cost in the data center. This is for you to know. So we're just gonna put name hero. This is the number of accounts that you wanna use for this server. Once it hits this number, it won't add anymore. Now remember, you can add unlimited accounts and as long as you don't go over the 50 gigabytes of usage. So we're just gonna assume that each customer used one gigabyte and we're gonna say 50. You might wanna go lower, you might wanna go higher, but it's up to you. Okay, server status address. This is if you wanna display the status inside of your um, inside of your WHMCS interface. I'm not gonna set this up right now. If you want to, you can go through WHMCS's docs or ask WHMCS and they can help you set that up and I'm not gonna add that. If you want to disable the server, maybe you don't wanna make it live right now. Um, I of course do. Uh, name server, so now we're gonna enter our name servers that we've already set up. So we're gonna go back to here. So the first one is the NS3, so we're gonna copy it. We're gonna paste it. And the second's gonna be our NS4 that we just set up. And remember, when your customers sign up, these are the name servers that it's gonna give them to use for their website. So it's important you enter these correctly because if these are incorrect, your customers won't be able to get online correctly. And we need to grab these IPs again. So we're gonna copy this, paste it. We're gonna copy this, paste it. Okay, now we need to enter the server details. Okay, so this is a cPanel server, so cPanel. The username, this is the username um, that we signed up with. So we're gonna go over here and I need to go to email history. So I'm gonna hover over here, email history, where my username was sent to me, view message. And we can see, here is the username. So we're gonna copy this, just leave it over here. Password, so we're gonna go over here and grab the password. Copy this, paste, and this is, a, this is of the new reseller account, API token, so we need to grab this real quick. So we'll go over here, go back to my services, go back to the new startup hero, go to WHM, type in API, manage API tokens, and we're gonna generate a new one. We're gonna call this WHMCS, Okay, click save. We just leave all that default. There's our API token. We're gonna put it in here and we're gonna test the connection. Successful. Click save changes. Okay, so now you have added your new reseller package to your WHMCS. So now when you get new customers that are coming in, it will automatically fill on your original resale account and your new one. And so you can limit, this one you can limit based on how full the server is. So if we go over here, we can, we can change this. Let's, this is set to 200. So maybe we can change this to 50 accounts, save changes. And now once this reaches 50, this server won't fill anymore and Tim will start to fill. So to do this also, you need to have a group. So we're just gonna call this group um, US, let's just say US servers, right? We're gonna add both of these, add, save changes. So this keeps creates a, creates a group of the servers and we go to our products, our web hosting products. For example, um, 
light is one here. Or wait, I'm sorry, let's use this one, basic. We'll click on the modify. Under module settings, we can now select the server group, US, and it will automatically begin to fill based on those servers. So now when your customers come on, they might hit your, your corporate hero, they might hit up your startup based on the space that you have available. So this allows you to start really having a diversified infrastructure to, and to really be redundant for your customers. Highly recommend, especially for those resellers who are starting to get a lot of customers. That way your customers aren't on the same server, all on the same server, and um, it also allows you to more efficiently use your space. So this is what you do when you need more space to resell. You just add another package. And this is the main reason why we have those packages set up in the first place. Because Startup offers, um, you know, for a low rate, um, 50 gigabytes of space that you can resell. And then if you start to hit that, you can always see, you can upgrade to the entrepreneur. And then once you start to encroach on that, just buy another startup. And then rinse and repeat. And this allows you to keep your costs low without ever having to buy a dedicated or a VPS server. Um, you don't have to worry about managing your own server. You can have many different reseller accounts. If I was to start over tomorrow, I would start out as a reseller. I would have reseller accounts at all these different places, and that's how I would start to build my business. Keeps your costs low, don't have to run your own servers, and you can rotate through the multiple packages. So I hope this helps you out. I hope this explains and answers that question of what do I do when I need more space with the reseller. Um, it also shows you how to automate the entire process using WHMCS. So feel free to ask any questions. I'm going to put this video on our YouTube channel. Ask questions there. I monitor it every single day almost, and I'll try to personally reply back to you. You can ask the questions. I'm going to put this on our blog as well, so you can ask the questions there and be more than willing to help you out. So just let us know. I'm also going to type a little tutorial too for those that want to follow that step by step. Um, but that said, thanks for using Name Hero. Thanks for making Name Hero the reseller, the leaders in reseller web hosting. We certainly appreciate and, um, you know, we really enjoy working with you and watching you grow your business. So again, if you have any questions, let us know, but thanks for choosing NameHero.com.